Hello everybody, it's rather warm isn't it at the moment? So uh, let's see what's on the cards for the month of July. Okay, so please give us a reading for the month of July. Okay, here's what I'm getting from these cards. Here is our issue or theme of the month, and here's the advice. Queen of Cups, for me, always reminds me of that line in, in the Madonna song, happiness lies in your own hands. And I think the question with the Queen of Cups is, are we self-sufficient? Can Is it enough just to be ourselves? Can we just uh, just be still and really kind of do nothing and and expect happiness to come to us. Now, um, what I'm getting is for the month of July, no, not quite. Um, I think I'm getting this uh, Three of Rods as the major advice card. We've got two reversals. We've got, mm, okay, it's not really about um, sitting around on the ground. Um, it's not really about, uh, you know, taking these two together. Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. It's not really about the full belly. It's not really about just existing as creatures, as mammals, and that being enough. There is, I think, a contrast here in the Three of Rods. There is, I think, an advice to push ahead. So regardless of the fact that it might be warm, it might be a month where one doesn't particularly want to move, it might be a month in which one deserves to rest and deserves to have a picnic if if one is in the northern hemisphere um, or a, you know a hot dinner if one is in 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 going into winter in the southern hemisphere um, and on some deeper level, of course happiness does lie in our own hands, but I think as a contrast here, this card is inviting us to be active, to be proactive, um, not to be in that mode where we just wait for things to come to us. Okay, so there's always the, um, how can I put this? There's always the option, isn't there, of choosing between um, just the, the receptive mode and the active mode that we can either just allow life to come to us or we can go out and get it. And this is clearly a card of going out and getting it one sends one's ships out on the waters and then they come back to one with treasure in them. Let's have a look at the um, the 12 card weather forecast reading and I'm going to adjust my camera without so much as an edit so we get the feeling of flow, okay? Please give us a 12 card weather forecast reading for the month of July. Okay, we hide the minors. We're going to keep the aces. This is Robert's patented weather forecast spread. Uh, 
And now we're going to hide the reversals. Okay, so we're talking about, I'm just talking about areas of energy here. I'm not actually reading these at face value, not in my weather forecast spread. So we've got the second and the eighth. We've got what we possess and what is falling away. Okay, what is leaving. So it's, there is... Um, I think a nudge, um, a, a tactful bit of advice here to take care of what you have, um, to look after your, you know, the, the, the garden that you have, um, what makes you feel secure, what makes you the, the, the Taurus with your, your feet on the ground, um, with your feet on the earth. So what I'm getting is that um, the first reading I think was more outer and the second reading is a bit more inner. Th this always indicates something's happening on an inner level. That um, there is change and there is letting go. This is this is the, the house of death. Um, that there is the need to let go of things which may be difficult to let go of. So there is a psychological aspect to this month. There is a personal growth aspect. And it's in, I think, strong contrast to this Taurus here. We saw in the first reading that there was a reversed Ace of Coins. And I interpreted that Ace of Coins as meaning don't sit around on your ass uh, doing nothing, just, just, uh, just enjoying the garden or the picnic. Whenever I see um, energy in the second house in my weather forecast, I always take that to mean that um, my, in a sense, my financial situation in the world needs attention. Don't let it slip. This is really what this weather forecast is doing. I feel this month could have a kind of a trickiness or a challenge in it with regard to our financial security. I think it could be a slightly unstable month, which is sort of clashing with that desire, certainly for us for whom it's summer, that desire to sit around and, uh, and just uh, and relax and have dinner. Um, I, I feel that, well, this, this eighth house energy um, action here, opposite the second house, energy action, is kind of a bit challenging um, because the eighth house is not about ease, it's about difficulty. It's, it's about, in a sense, things are happening which kind of challenge and pull at our beliefs about how things should be, okay? So, a little bit of caution, a little bit of awakeness, and um, a little bit of little bit of proactive action, I think is indicated for the month of July. I put down an orange um, tablecloth today to cheer us all up. Um, there's plenty of sun out at the moment, uh, and so on that level, we certainly are having the cockles of our cockles warmed up for us. I think orange also does encourage us to be alert and to keep our eyes open. Bye. Okay, here's a, here's a poem I wrote for you for the month of July. In July's sultry air, the twilight whispers. A shroud of heat where shadows seem to breathe. Each step a memory in dust and haze. Here in the stillness where the day decays, 
figures emerge, half stable from the gloaming, phantoms of summer's height, unseen but felt. A spectral touch, as soft as silk, brushes against the skin, murmuring of the unseen, a presence lingering in the heavy dusk.